What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So this week we're going to talk about an extension from Curic that allows you to quickly space out objects inside of SketchUp. I will note this extension was voted on by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, you want to vote on the extensions that I cover, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so spacing out objects manually inside of SketchUp can be really time consuming. So let's say we wanted to space these objects by a uniform amount. You could come in here and you could start drawing in edges and so let's say like for example I wanted these to be spaced out evenly along this line. I could divide this line into different points and then align the center points of these on those points. So this did get, this did get a little bit easier in SketchUp 2020 because there's some inference points, but overall it's still very time consuming to try to align all of these different objects. So you could definitely do it, but there's an easier way to do that and that way is this extension. And so there's a much easier way to do that and that's to use an extension. So this extension is called Curic Space you can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse um, and it's free and it's updated for SketchUp 2020 as well but you can download this and install this and what this extension allows you to do is it allows you to select different objects and so the way this extension works is fairly simple you just select the object you'd like to space activate the tool and then you can select a line along which you want to space these so you can see how by clicking on this this evenly space these along this line well you can also type in a value so let's say for example I wanted these to be spaced every 14 inches or 16 inches you can see how I can align those along this red axis really easily so you can use this or you can space these along this red axis really easily and so you can use this to really quickly space out different objects without having to go in and do all the extra measuring and everything else you can literally just type in a value and space them by that value so you can see how I can do this again right here and so you can see by looking at these this is a significantly faster way to space objects along lines inside of SketchUp and so one thing to point out about this when you're doing this is you can set this to either do this by object centers or by the origin point by tapping the tab key when you have your object selected. So for example, you can see how when I tap when I tap tab, this changes position to origin or to center depending on what I want. And so you can actually mouse over this and this will show you what this will align based on with these little stars that are on this line. So right now I have this set by origin. And so what this will do if you click inside this object is this is going to align these based on the object origin. However, if you select these and you tap the tab key and you do it by object centers, it's going to find the actual center point of these objects and align based on that instead. So I believe it's finding the center point of the bounding box of the object. So you can use that to be really precise. And note that you can also select other edges in here. So for example, I could set this to space these along this line as opposed to the red axis. And so we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. And so this could also be helpful if you have something like a bunch of stuff on shelves in a kitchen or something like that and you want to align them really quickly, you can just click on this edge, type in a value, so 12 inches or whatever, and this will automatically space those for you. And one thing I really like about this is that this stays live, meaning I can type in different values and hit the enter key and this will stay live so I can do different spacing. So you can see how I can type in different values using my keyboard, hit the enter key, and I can actually see what that result is going to be based on those new values. And this stays live as long as you don't click on something else. So you can use this really fast. And this also works really well with Curic Space, which we talked, or uh, Curic Align, which we talked about last week. So let's say for example, that we had all of these different uh, glass bottles in here, and we wanted to take these and we wanted to space them out in a line. Well, right now we could do that. You can see how these would be spaced out, but there's some in the front and some in the back. Let's say I was to type in a value of three inches. You can see how you can easily space these all along this line, but they're not aligned. Well, what you could do instead is before you do that, you could use Curric Align, 
align these all to the same place like this and then you could run this extension and now these are in a nice straight line in addition to being spaced properly. So if you combine these with Curic Align, that can be really helpful. And so you can also use this to create copies of objects. So if you select an individual object like this one, and then you activate the tool, it's gonna ask you for a number of different duplicates. So let's say I was to type in a value of five and hit okay, that'll create five duplicates of this. And then you could come in here and you could set the spacing of those objects by whatever value you want. So you can see I could easily use this to populate these shelves really quickly. So then with a little bit of creativity, you could also use this to create copies of objects along paths. So for example, let's say I had this can model and I wanted to go ahead and space this out along this line that I've drawn right here and I wanna create three duplicates. You could just click on this line and then type in a value of like, let's say three inches or negative three inches. And then you can see how this created those copies in here. Well, this spacing isn't exactly right. So I could come in here and type on this line I could set this to like two inches so I could vertically do that. And then I could take all of these and I could put them in a group and I could create a duplicate of that group. So you could see how you could use this to create an array of aligned objects. And then you could always come back in here and re-space them too. So you could use this to create spaced and aligned objects inside of your models really quickly. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you used this extension before? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.